Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. As you can see, we're doing another scrap run. Definitely cleaning up here. We've got some aluminium I didn't even know I had. I think I've been storing too much. But anyway, uh, we're taking over some stainless steel, clean stainless steel, dirty stainless steel there. Uh, clean the domestic aluminium there and here. This is what that frame, big frame is. Bloody damn mozzies are biting the hell out of me at the moment. Um, we've got our copper wire, as you've seen the video that we've done, in that one there. Uh, what else have we got down in these tubs? I don't know what we've got in that tub. I think that's got some um, copper alley radiators. They're actually heat sinks off computers. Uh, we've got our number two copper in there. We've got a cast alloy in that one. This blue one, I think I'm trying to rattle it off of my head here. Um, we've got the insulated wire and some brass fittings in there. Now also in this top one here, in the big one, we've got uh, domestic aluminium. Uh, we've got all of our, I don't know what they'll put these as, whether they'll go as motors or ballasts or what, I don't know. They might even put it as fridge compressor stuff. We just don't know. And around the other side here, oh, we've got our domestic copper in this one here. Uh, stainless steel there, extruded up into there. Uh, what have we got over the other side? What have we got? We've got batteries on too. We've got batteries in here, in there, as you might be able to see. I've stacked them wherever I could. They're in here even. I've got them out the side. I don't know how many there is. I didn't count them. So there's some batteries there. We've got some aluminium radiators there. And we've got the heavy stuff on. We have got it all on one side. I tried to stack the heavy stuff with all the other stuff on the other side. I should have put the batteries on the other side because I know they're heavy. I weighed one of those AGMs there, power AGMs, 29 goddamn kilos each. I thought, God damn, I was going to put one in my battery, one in my, one in my battery, one in my boat, uh, but then I decided with those other little batteries that I was going to scrap out and that they're okay, I made up a battery bank. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I had this battery box, and I thought, well, yeah, I'll try and make it up. I had, I've still got an extra one here, so... If one of them fails, I can whack that into that. So what I've got, I've got two stacks of five on each. So there's ten of those little batteries in there. I've still got to finish connecting it up. That That's the wrong spade connector because, you know, spade on spade don't work. So we've got to fix that up. I've got to finish wiring it up. I'm going to put a solar controller in there so I can charge it by a solar panel. I'm going to put a waterproof one in there. Um, I've got to yet find a lid to put onto that and um, then we've got the straps down here that we can actually use. So that'll be for the boat and like I said 29 kilos up against 22 those little ones only with that whole battery case 22 kilos I'll go with what I've made up. So anyway We'll head over tomorrow, it is late in the afternoon, too late to head over now, it's going on about half five in the afternoon, um, yeah we'll rock over there early in the morning, hopefully they'll accept me, they didn't want me to go on a certain day, I'm going on that certain day that they didn't want me, so, but anyway, let's see what they say when we get there, and I guarantee, well I don't guarantee, I I'm hoping for over about mm, six to eight hundred dollars with all of this load. I'm hoping, crossing fingers, you know. Anyway, I'll see you when I get there. Finally making it here. I forgot to mention too that I got me circuit boards here to take in but they're not getting dropped off here so after we're finished here we will go and drop off our circuit boards 
and we've got CPUs and memory there as well. So we'll find out how much we get out of that. Geez, that's a lot cleaner than what it was last last time I was here. Hell yeah. Oh, they might have saved them. Better find the boss man. He might be up there, I don't know. Don't think so. No. Oh, you want the lid open for the camera? There you go. You gotta do that shit, I know that. Alright, we'll get rid of that first. Yeah, there's a bit of weight. I'll carry this down while I'm going. Oh yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yep. Bro. You want these left on the side too? I've got a fair bit of weight in those. All right. Go this one. Cast alloy. I wouldn't have a clue, mate. I don't think it's got a weight on it. No, it hasn't. It's not much in it. Oh, give it two. <laughs> All right, there you go. Three at a time. <clears throat> I said two. <laughs> that was a good guess. Plastic. I got some here. That there. Do the number two copper first if you like. And then we got that underneath. I'm just dragging off what I can. Get it close to the scale for you. Make the transition a bit quicker. Half a kilo, not even that. <laughs> yeah, mate, doing that. I 
I don't know where you got them. One. Batteries. She's only a small one. It's not lithium. Yeah. <laughs> not the old it's lipo. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry. I don't bring in the lithium shit. You can't recycle them, can you? What's that? You can't recycle them here, can you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think that was the case. Oh yeah. You want to do him first? Yeah. Right, stainless up here. Gloves on for that. It's a bit sharp. Yeah, domestic copper. Ooh. There we go. Thank <laughs> um, you. Where are you going to put these? Because I know you got none here. One or two? Oh, yeah, there's a pallet. I've got two pallets made up over there already. Oh, I didn't know. You got it all done? Yeah. All right. I'll put them over here. Yeah, What happened to all the other workers? Job paying more money. Oh, fair enough. And we've got another bike start this week. Oh, there you go. There we go. Just wondering what happened to him. Right, we'll go to the alley. Raids. Yeah, chuck one. Light as ever. Sit there, boy. Sit. 
five kilos is better than nothing. All right, get the other bucket off while I'm waiting. Yeah. They're out of fridges. Yeah, I've seen them a few times on the back of them. Well, well, like these them. are the inside part of the freezer section. Yeah. Because um, when I'm breaking things up with the excavator, you see them like... Is it really worth going over there for one kilo? <laughs> well, they add up when you've got a lot of them. Oh, I can't get that off. Yeah, you do him. I'm trying to get the lid off this thing. It's biting me. Ah, there we go. Throw that over here. Brass. Yes, chuck that on. Go for your life. That's, nah, that's clean, isn't it? <laughs> you can't say it's not on. I checked everything with a magnet this time. She broke down to broke down. Seven kilos, probably a half a kilo for the tub. Then we've only got that other stuff. Oh, you got that. Yeah, it wouldn't be even a kilo. Yeah, all right, that extruded. Oh, you could have just chucked it over there. Left it beside and I'll do that. Save you walking. I could use the exercise. Ah, I'm, uh, I'm buggered as it is like you. I think I quick picked a quiet morning. I was hoping that. Yeah, where's this one go? Extrude. Yeah, um, take a bin. Sweet ass. Probably two kilo for this. I'd reckon so. See if you want that way. One. If you want to take it, it's up to you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the domestic copper. Not gonna fit. Thirty-two kilos, sweet. Well, it's got 60 on there. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. I just noticed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 60 litre. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the good stuff. Yeah, mate. What's that worth a kilo? Oh, truth, I thought it was about bloody 11. Um, second bin after the number two. Oh, yep. Candy copper. Ah, uh, bright and shiny. Oh, yeah, I see it. I can't get the bloody thing out of there. There we go. 
Oh, Struth, I'm getting attacked. You're not weighing the bucket? Oh, well, we don't know, do we? Barely. Probably 800 grams. Oh, no. <laughs> it must have weighed a few though. <laughs> <laughs> now we're out. Oh, that weighs nothing, see? <laughs> <laughs> well, better leave it on there if they were three equal. Yeah, sweet as you can do it there. Uh, yeah, that's all clean stainless in there. Yeah, we could do the only stuff and Oh, yeah, the sharp shit. Yep. Get the gloves on for that. Oh, Struth, I forgot a piece of brass here. <laughs> yeah. Want to make a drum kit? Stuck on the bottom. Sit it over here then. Yeah. That's that. Just weigh that single symbol. Probably a kilo. I oh, was bloody right. <laughs> so you're just editing, are you? Yeah, save so it on this Yeah. Yeah. Forty one. I think this weighs nine. Yep, it says nine on the top. Yeah, these don't weigh much. We're way down the back, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I've got a crane that'll lift it all on with, so <laughs> I make it easy for myself. Low grade PVC is right here. Oh yeah. No, I use I usually get a fair bit of it. A fair bit of medium grade. Oh. Right, we're down to the stainless. And then that. I'll move over move around so you can get that anyway. So where are we going? This is over here again because I'll crush it with the weight. Alright. You can keep the bag. Yep. And we just got that. So you want me to move over so you can fork it off? Probably 500 kilos there. That's a guess. Blue one inside that. Right into there. Black one inside that.
I see you made use of me cart. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's from the mechanic next door. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I brought one in like that. Oh, that there. Yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we were like, we need something to move along sheets around. Here. And that was ideal. That'll do. That'll do. That can go on the bucket. Into that. Just waiting for him to get that off. That's all I'm doing. I am sorting. Not to there. Uh, if you want to take, you can take it. I'm not lifting those buggers out. <laughs> They're heavy enough as they are. Yeah, down a little bit more. That'll hit. Yeah, about 500. You got plenty of room up front. Alright, get this stuff on. How much am I am I close? Oh pretty close. Three kilos off with the IBC. On the side. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying with the IBC, I'm damn close, 500 kilos. So what's we going with those as? Inside. Oh, sweet. Well, are they under 300 mil? Uh, truck rims. <laughs> I ain't got tape measure, sorry. What the is it, Anthony? I don't know. Someone flogged it on you. Okay. How big's your foot? <laughs> Ooh, I reckon they're bigger. I'm not disputing it. I have had them as insides once before. Yeah, it said, well, I thought it was over 300 mil. Supposed to be insides. Um, do, 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 do. Bucket can come out of there and go into here. Stack that into that end of the spot there. That into there. That's not going to go into there, that didn't work. So you undecided, eh? It's about seven dollars price difference. Bugger. All up over the whole weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just check the differences. Well, it's up to you. You do what you. You know, I can't tell you what to do. Because my book says less than three hundred as well. You do whatever. But you because that is that. actually over three hundred. That. <clears throat> yeah, it would be. Because I'm a size eleven. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> So you'd be about 450. But that's US 11. <laughs> <laughs> they all cloud go as US 11. Yeah, um, well, that's 11 inches still. <laughs> it's up to you, mate. My boot's actually 30. I remember that because we had to measure out when we are doing cuttings for trees. Well, when you're, out, when you're out in the road, you ain't got a tape measure and you're filling the bin, you've got to measure it with something. They're, cat, they're put, transportable. Very transportable. But they wear out. They do. They do. <laughs> and at 320 bucks a pop. See, he's only paid 
About 56 bucks. <laughs> Same. <laughs> These are the buns days. Oh, yeah, well, oh, yeah. Ah, steel toe composite plate. Yes, yeah, all the same. Yeah, bamboo line. So, where are we going as? With you HMS. on there? Oh, yeah, we'll leave you on there. <laughs> well, H HMS is, um, it's literally like five cents a kilo less. It's up to you. If you want to put, put it as HMS, you can put it as HMS. I know how Jim's been lately. <laughs> He's been on the fing wall. But you still get. I think it's 30 bucks, 120 bucks. 120 bucks for that. Hmm. Well, whatever. I can't tell you what to do. No. No? That's the thing. <clears throat> and then you take 35 off. Hmm. And I'll go tip it in the bin. Whatever you want to do. <clears throat> so you're giving me that back, are you? Yeah, I'll give it back to you. Oh, okay. Shit, I just loaded that all up too. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, put it behind it and then you can... Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to put everything inside it. But I can still do that anyway. It's easy to move around these things. Yeah. All right. Right, yeah. I'll let you deal with it. I'll go do a tip. Yeah. Almost been over on that fucking pad for a while. Oh, he's only had to tip it off, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably unloading it by hand. Well, he said it was a tip off. Oh, okay. You'll find out soon enough when you go over there. Yeah, yeah. TJ 18 KB. You don't see, mate? Never going to change, not unless I sell the vehicle, which I doubt that's on the cards. That is all good. No worries. Today, mate. Yeah, mate, that's the thing. And I've already fueled up. Right, yeah, let's get this sorted. Get it in there. Our last of our load. Might as well carry this lot in. Buy cash for scrap metal. I take the computer boards. This is where I first used to come. <coughs> Hello. Hello. What's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? What's your matter? What's the matter? Hey? What? Hey? Hey? Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. No, don't you bite. Hey? Ow, 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 fingers! Ow, ow! <laughs> I'm a bird! <laughs> oh, look at this! That's artistic! Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Got some stuff here. A lot of stuff. Wow! This is what you call a dinky dye scrapyard. Just from here to us all the breakfast time. Way out the back out there even. Whew. Damn. Right, they're all out of computers, yep. computer circuit boards, and I've got the CPU and memory in here. Yep. I brought my last lots over there from last time. <laughs> no, that's not there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's from, else. yeah, I brought that in last time. Still no, in the no, same no, bin. That, that's, that was a big bloke. Oh, was it? Him, yeah, like two days ago. Oh, fair enough, but same bin, yeah. Yeah. Do you, good. do you remember what he paid you? Uh, he paid me, uh, not by kilo, no, he didn't tell me what by kilo, but I brought in uh, a fair bit. 
Yeah. And I think he pa I, it was $108 for the whole lot that I the had. The problem is he's in Fiji. Are he oh, you kidding? He hasn't written the prices down what I'm supposed to be paying. Oh, for oh. Well, that's oh. a bad time to be bringing us shit then, eh? I think we'll be back uh, Sunday. Yeah, well, I won't be over. Yeah, righto. I'm not here. So, I don't, yeah, um, I don't live in this suburb if you, if or anywhere. Give us an idea for what he paid. Well, I can show you on my phone by the bank statement on how much he paid me. Yeah, but what, what, how much do you reckon you brought in? Oh, probably about thirty kilos. I think I'm not. Yeah. I can't remember. You know, I can't remember at all. You can keep the tub if you want the plastic tub. Right. <laughs> I'm not yeah. fussed over the tub. Well, She's falling apart. Well, you've been you've been in them for a while. Yeah, but like, we haven't been sorting them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. I mean, yeah, 12, it. and she's probably about a kilo for the tub. Yep. And then you got this shit. Barely worth it, you put it in with that. No, well, I'll just say it's... About, about a kilo. About a kilo. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be far off. So it'd be about 13 kilos in total. Yeah, righto. So... Oh look, I'm happy with even 50 bucks. I'm happy. <laughs> I just got to go get my driver's license too. Yeah, right, mate. All right. Oh, you reckon you had a, got, he gave you about 120 dollars. No, 108 dollars and so many cents. 108 dollars for about 30, 40 kilos. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. So if you can work it out, while I go get my driver's yeah, license. Yeah. So that was the date there. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I didn't um, know whether you wanted key cards or nothing, so I just brought the whole wallet in, bro. And that's me wallet, me no, license. That's all right. Um, yeah, it worked out to be about um, two dollars seventy kilo. So oh, there you go. I've yeah. just done that. So yep, it's all good. Um, Buddy, phone calls. <laughs> I've had four this morning. Can have book work, right? <laughs> Should have brought the glasses in. Uh, where do I sign? Just there. Yeah, I didn't see it, mate. I found you a CD in the car. I know you like these There we go. CDs. <laughs> Breakfast is a bit late. <laughs> there you go, mate. All right, let's catch us later. All good. Well, we certainly have an empty shed now. She's totally cleared out. So. Just talking about that, um, we may, may have one scrap run, I don't know when, I've just got to gather up a bit of material and stuff like that, um, I had a bloke here that was doing up a hut uh, for his ski gear and that sort of thing, he pulled one down and he's just finished finishing off what he's doing down there, not today, but um, he does, comes here on the weekends and that sort of thing, he's a member of the club, he's actually on the committee, so, um, yeah, he's been giving me all the scrap metal that he can't use and that sort of thing. So there's a bit of that. Um, I've got a couple of wash machines that I've got to pull apart, that sort of thing anyway. There will be, in the future, I will guarantee you this, will be more content on caravanning and that sort of thing coming out. Um, because we're planning on moving on from here. We just don't know what date. Or day like it won't be this year maybe in the beginning of next year sometime don't know we haven't really made up our mind when so um, yeah the things have been happening and that sort of thing so yeah we thought well we better you know clean it up now and if we do get a little bits of pieces coming in and we can actually just do it and do a scrap run and that sort of thing um, if we do any stripping or anything like that uh, pulling things apart probably won't put it on camera because it's just as quick to actually pull it apart not put anything on camera because it takes time to do that um, I'm not saying it's it's a menace or anything like that I'm just saying it that, that just takes a bit of time setting cameras up and then thinking oh I've got to go and edit that I'm not tired of doing that I totally love pulling things apart totally love the scrapping everything like that um, but where actually looking at what we'll be doing in the future like you've seen in the first scrap run video for this week um, I showed you this caravan what we we're doing there uh, so I've got a bit of work to do to the new caravan I've got to put a thousand watt kil thousand watt I'll put it a better way one kilowatt of solar on the roof of the new one 
and take the old solar panels off. So there's a bit of work to do there. Uh, may record that, see how we go. Um, I've got to put a DC DC charger in it as well. New inverter, and it's got nothing like that in it. So yeah, that'll be more content for you all. Changing things the way we do our video recording and that sort of thing. So yeah, because I've got to do it, I might do a video for you all and how it all connects up and that sort of thing. So anyway, let's get down what we got paid and how much everything weighed on everything, like the circuit boards, um, all, all of the stuff that we took, the Imix metals. Right, domestic aluminium, 90 kilos, $1.70 a kilo. Bringing home $153. Next one down, aluminium cast, took in 12 kilos, $1.65 a kilo, $19.80. Next one is copper number two, took in four kilos, didn't think it was that much, thought it was more actually, but anyway, $10.20, that's a damn good price, $40.80, uh, what have we got next, we got aluminium copper radiators, dirty, they were the heat sinks out of computers, two kilos, $3.70, not bad, so you can do computer heat sinks and that sort of thing, $7.40, uh, fridge compressors and electric ballasts, they were all, all the, well, I don't actually take in fridge compressors because I'll pull them apart. Uh, they were all the electric ballasts and stuff like that. 24 kilos, 70 cents a kilo, they've gone up 10 cents. $16.80. Next one down, automotive batteries, 230 kilos. 55 cents a kilo. They're going down 5 cents. They were 60 cents. $126.50. Uh, aluminium radio is clean. 5 kilos. A uh, dollar a kilo. So we got 5 bucks for that one. That's an easy math, that one. Uh, brass solid. And it was clean. Uh, 8 kilos. $6.50. 65 cents damn that's a good price so we got 53 dollars 20. uh what are we up to where are we uh, da, 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 da. aluminium extruded 12 kilos two dollars 70 27 dollars 60 i'm trying to read this through the phone so i don't lose track domestic copper uh tank they call that so it's 30 kilos because there was a two dollar two two kilo bucket. Nine dollars twenty, still a good price for domestic. Two hundred and seventy-six dollars neat. Woohoo, yeah. Uh our stripped wire. What do we have? Eleven kilos. Twelve dollars a kilo neat. Now you might have heard him say that in the video. $132 neat for that one. Pity we didn't have any more. Um, as you've seen in the wire stripping video, we've done a fair bit. Stainless steel irony solid, 30 kilos, 80 cents a kilo, $24 neat. Uh, copper PVC low grade, that's what I ever always take in. 32 kilos, $2.40 a kilo, $76.80. Uh, stainless steel 304 which was 31 kilos, $1.60 a kilo, $49.60. Now heavy, well, this is where we were debating what whether it was going to be in size or HMS. They put it down as HMS. Uh, the, they weighed in at 462 kilos, 25 cents a kilo. We don't get a waste levy with that. Thank God for that. $115.50. Now, for the grand total, where did I put that? For the grand total, I've got this upside down. Bear with me with the camera skills, everyone. We got a grand total of $1,124 there. Now, for the circuit boards, we got a total of $35 with those. Well, there you go. All prices do change as we know with scrap um, with the heat sinks out of computers 
if you want to start doing computers that's the best way to do it so that way you're getting a bit of money for your heat sink and that sort of thing like your, your extruded aluminium that goes into the into as extruded um but the copper that's with there you can actually take that separate that you can cut it up if you want to um put your copper in with your number two um so you get number two price but there's a lot of fiddling and mucking rise buggerizing around trying to pull it apart and that's what i thought you probably could get to with the blowtorch but it all depends on how much time you want to spend on doing that sort of thing so anyway um didn't mind getting all the money for the circuit boards what was it 35 dollars don't mind that so um yeah that's that scrap run over and done with might be doing another one soon and well not soon in the in the future say probably in the next probably month two months something like that but like i said we've got a bit of caravan work to do and solar panels all that sort of thing so yeah i'll definitely try and do some more content on that for you all change things around a bit um work's going well here they're quite happy with what we're doing but um it is getting a bit tiring i'll put it that way um we've been here going this will be our fifth season here so I think it's about time we started to think about what we're going to do for the future. And that's why we're looking at the caravan side of it. We've been travelling for... If we hadn't have been here for five, for five years, we would have been still on the road. Would have been 18 years travelling constantly, fully on the road. So anyway, just on that note, um, if you've come this far and you wish to subscribe, please do so. It is free to do and it does help our channel along if you've got the smart tvs everyone also you can click on the qr code up here in the corner for us and um scan it with your phone i should say from your from your tv go to the youtube channel and click subscribe if you wish because it is free like i said so anyway everyone probably see you in the next video so till the next one cheerio